Hi guys and welcome to Strength Universe. Edward Boupre, known as Boupre the Giant, was the world's tallest strongman. He was born on the 9th of January 1881 in Willow Bunch, Saskatchewan, and was the eldest of 20 children. Sadly, only eight of whom would survive infancy. At birth, Edward weighed a whopping nine pounds, but his growth was normal until he entered school at the age of seven, at which point he started to grow rapidly. At nine, he was nearly six foot tall, and three years later, he'd reached six foot six. And at 17, he was seven foot one. He attended school off and on for the following four years, but never achieved more than a rudimentary education. However, he learned to communicate in five languages, including French, Cree, and English. Boupre finished school at 15 and took a job on a ranch near Willow Bunch, where he learned to throw lasso and ride horses. He would continue to work on the ranch until he was 17, when his increase in size hampered his ability to do his job, and later a horse would kick him in the face, that left him with a permanent facial disfigurement, that intensified his feelings of insecurity. Edward got his start in a freak show business when neighbour Andre Goudry suggested it might be a good way to earn money for him and his family. Goudry and a friend of the Boupre family named Albert Laguerre accompanied the 17-year-old giant on a North American tour that included Winnipeg, Montreal, Buffalo, Chicago and several cities in California. In no time, Boupre had an agent and a regular job touring in a circus. Over the following three years, Boupre performed various feats of strength. Among his most popular were bending an iron bar and lifting a horse to shoulder height that he cited to have weighed between 600 and 900 pounds. Now 20 years old, Edward was a towering 7 foot 9 inches tall. He returned to Montreal with his father, where on the 25th of March 1901, although exhausted by a disease, he took part in a wrestling match against a famous strongman, Louis Sear. Sear won the match in the twinkle of an eye, although supporters of Boupre put this down to his weakened condition. The following year, Edward's mystery illness was diagnosed as tuberculosis, but in spite of this, he continued to work. He signed a new contract on the 1st of July 1904 with the Barnum & Bailey Circus to appear at the St. Louis World's Fair in Missouri where just two days later he would collapse and die shortly after of a massive pulmonary hemorrhage. At the time of his death, Edward was 23 years old, 8 foot 3 inches tall and weighed 375 pounds. Following Edward's death, an autopsy had revealed that his giantism was due to acromegaly caused by a tumour on his pituitary gland. His body would later be embalmed by the undertakers, Herbally and Keys, and over the following three years, the body was sold to a circus that subsequently went bankrupt. In the spring of 1907, some children found Bupree's body in a shed at Park Bellarive in Montreal. The body was then sent to the autonomy department of the University of Montreal, where it underwent a special mummification process. It was then displayed in a glass shrine at the facility of medicine until the mid-1970s. Finally, at the request of some of the members of his family, the pre the giant was cremated and buried in Willow Bunch on the 7th of July 1990, more than 85 years after his death. If you enjoyed today's video, check out one of these others about more of history's giants who've recorded incredible feats of strength, and consider hitting like, leaving a comment, or subscribing for more. Thank you.